Today, we're having pops. Um, it's called Italian beef pops and sausage, I guess. Uh, it's just a good place to get greasy food. I don't know if there's a pops everywhere or if it's just in my area, but they got the typical shit, burgers, dogs, cheese fries, you know, all the good drunk foods. Today's video, I decided I would do uh, a Q&A. So I asked Facebook and Instagram to ask me questions. Um, so I'm gonna do that. But before we get into that, I need to start eating because I'm just, I'm dying of hunger. I'm to the point I'm almost shaking. So I got a double cheeseburger with everything on it, a barbecue boneless rib sandwich, I don't know why I got that. I just kind of randomly picked it up. They got like 50 items to pick from. So I just randomly picked that. Uh, I got fries uh, and a cup of cheese, a pizza puff. A lot of people, I was surprised that a lot of people I've talked to don't know what a pizza puff is or have has never had one, which is so strange to me. They're so delicious. It's like a pizza roll times 10 and it tastes way better. But in all honesty, it doesn't taste like pizza in the least bit. It's its own flavor. But whatever that flavor is, it's delicious. Okay, so I don't know which one to have first. Well, probably the burger, because it's gonna be my favorite out of everything. So it's just a double cheeseburger with everything. Onions, tomato, lettuce, pickle, Ketchup mustard. I really, I don't really like lettuce on a burger. I think it's completely useless. And I can't even make this up. The person in front of me who was ordering got two regular hamburgers with a little bit of extra lettuce, please. And I'm like, what the hell? Just get a salad, what the fuck? But you know, everybody eats their food how they like it. But I think it's a waste uh, to put on a burger and lettuce. Save that for the salads. But this one looks good. Hmm. Hmm. It's good. Oh, and I got a Diet Coke. Because, well, we don't drink our calories, we eat them. I don't know if you knew that or not. That's pretty good. Oh, I need some ketchup. I got some cheese for the fries, but I might want to put some ketchup in it. Dip them in some ketchup. Okay. Oh, also, I like to put a little black pepper On my ketchup for the fries, if you've never tried that, you better get on it and step your ketchup game because it's delicious. Mm. Best way to do it. Best way to do it. Their cheese sauce is just okay. This is very okay. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I got one more night of work and then I'm off for like two and a half days. So I'm pretty excited. Excuse me. I'm pretty excited about that. Because I'm about burned out. And I could use some days off. Not that I'm really going to do anything. Just hang out with my kids. Clean something. Something always needs to be clean. Clothes always need to be folded. You know, just, just real fun shit. But it's my life. What are you going to do? 
Okay, um, let's take one of these questions. So I can't use my phone, so I have a little tablet here with some of the questions. Um, I thought I was gonna get a lot of weird questions and I was, I was actually a little nervous, but most of the questions I got were pretty basic get to know you questions. Um, a lot of them were repeated, just worded differently. So I just, I went with, um, I don't know, like the top seven or something like that. Um, um, age, I'm 37 years old. I know, I don't look it. I look 21. Um, I was born May 30th, 1982. So you do the math, I'm 37. Um, and that kind of ties into with another question that was, where were you born and wh where did you live? Well, I was born, I was physically born in Blue Island, Illinois. Um, my mom was actually, she was either at or she was going to my uncle's birthday. Me and him uh, share a birthday. So I, I, she was either going there or she was already there. And in true Hector fashion, I decided to come and crash the party. And I've been doing it ever since. So, uh, yeah, Blue Island, Illinois. Big ups to Blue Island. I'm gonna try this rib sandwich real quick. It's just, I just keep, it's got onions on it. It's like a, a McRib, I guess, a bigger McRib. Fuck it. Tastes exactly like a McRib. Not bad. Let's see what else we got. Children. Yes. I have two children. Amaya, who is my firstborn, and Travis, my little man. Good kids. I, I couldn't have asked for two better kids. I, I really couldn't have. They keep me going. I mean, I'm a kid. Keep me on my toes and keep me sharp. I mean, and, and they, they, you know, they always say they grow up so fast. And I was always like, shut up. No, we don't. But. We do grow up fast and they are definitely growing fast, but they're, you know, they're growing into good people. I'm not gonna have to worry about them, they're good. Um, let's see. Job. What job do I do? What's my work? Um, as of right now, I work at a steel mill. Arcelor Middle. Um, I've been in the steel making business. <sighs> Man, as soon as my daughter was born, she's 12. So yeah, about to, not the same place. I started off at another mill and then I, I went to Arcelor Middle. I mean, it's a good job. Um, if you don't know anything about steel making or a steel mill, like, I can't talk about it a lot. They're like real weird about talking about your job and like, you know, getting into too much detail. So, but you can easily, I mean, look it up. Like if you YouTube steel mill and kind of see what it consists of and um, things like that, it's, it's wild. It's, it's, it's wild.
Don't get me wrong. It's a good job. It, it pays the bills and then some, but it's, it's not something I see myself doing for, you know, like the next 20 years. A lot of people who get into the steel making <clears throat> business, um, they, they usually write it out. Once they start, they usually write it out till they retire. Um, and I mean, I give them all the props because that's a long time. It's a lot of years in there and you know, you miss a lot of family time because you don't always get the, um, the holidays off, you know, you don't get the weekends off a lot. So, um, you miss a lot of, fa uh, a lot of family gatherings. So, you know, that can be stressful and it, and it can piss you off, but you know, you're making dollars. So you got to kind of look at it like that. But I don't know. I don't, I don't see myself staying there for, you know, 20 years or whatever. Um, I do have other dreams and aspirations for a career, you know, that, you know, I'm working on when I can, but, um, it's definitely a good job for now. Um, it's got great benefits and, you know, to make sure my kids are taken care of health wise. So, you know, I just have to, you know, tough it out until I, you know, get to where I actually want to be. But it's a wild job. I'm not going to lie to you. It's crazy. Look it up. Look it up. I'm going to try some of this pizza puff. I'm going to put some cheese on it. Mm. It tastes nothing like pizza. It's good. I mean, it's so good. I could seriously eat six or seven of these. But it doesn't taste like pizza. Like the this dough or pastry or whatever the outside is that they fry, it's like chewy. And the inside, it's like sauce, meat, and cheese. Like, I mean, it's like typical pizza ingredients, but it doesn't taste like pizza. But it's good. Relationship status. What is my relationship status? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to lie. That was the number one question I got. <laughs> I don't know how many times. I mean, which is fine. It doesn't bother me. Um, basically, I was in a 13-year relationship. Um, and I would say it's been what? over a year, a little over a year, um, that it's been over. So, you know, you know, take that with well, what you will, like, you know, um, not taken, I'm single. Um, but I mean, it was rough at the beginning, you know, it was, it, I mean, it wasn't the perfect relationship, but what is, and, uh, we had a lot of trying and rocky times, and, you know, you just come to the realization that this is, you know, this is not meant to be, you know, this is just not going to work. And, you know, and, and for the kids sake, you know, you don't, you don't want your kids having to see, you know, their mom and dad fighting all the time or always not getting along. It's, you know, it's an ugly scene, you know, and, you know, you got to think about that. Um, you know, how you're going to impact your kids. And so, you know, we both knew it was going to end and it, we both knew this wasn't meant to be, but we, we did. I mean, I'm not going to lie. We fought to try to keep it going and keep it working. Um, you know, we broke up multiple times during the relationship and, and got back together and try to mend things. And so I'll give us that. Like we didn't just give up on the first you know, you know, first attempt, uh, we, we kept at it and we did try and it was only a matter, it was either one of us was finally going to say, 
you know, this is it, this is not working and I'm not happy and then I, you know, we just need to end this. So, so we did, um, we ended it. Um, and I think, I think it, it, it was, it was best. It was definitely best for both of us. And, you know, we didn't leave on hatred terms. Uh, I don't hate her. She doesn't hate me. You know, we get along, you know, now we get along <laughs> pretty well. Uh, and, you know, but that's good for the kids, you know, to keep a good relationship between both parents. So, um, you know, she's out there, you know, living her life, finding whatever she needs. And I'm doing the same thing, you know, figuring out what I want in life and what I need. And, you know, sometimes that's just the way it goes, you know, even if you try and try, but if you're digging a dry well, <laughs> that relationship just, it's just not going to make it. But, you know, I, I haven't sworn off love. I think, I believe in it still. I think it's still out there. I think the right person for me is waiting for me. Or maybe I'm waiting for her. Somebody's waiting. We're waiting. But I know she's out there and, you know, she's waiting to spice up my life. So I'm a believer. Hmm. The more I keep eating it, the more I'm liking it. Mm. Mm. Oh, speaking of relationships, what's the perf what's your perfect date? Oh, I've been out of the dating game for so long. <laughs> I don't even know what the perfect date is anymore. Like, I think I know it in my head, but man, it's it's way different than years ago. I really don't know. I mean, I guess the perfect date is going somewhere and I, just getting to know the person. I mean, I don't really, I don't know how else to to put it or how else I think about it. Um, I mean, I like to just chill and watch movies and be a bum and you know lay around. But obviously, that's not probably the the best way to ask for a first date. You know, you finally get a number or you finally a girl, you know, decides to go out with you and you know, and she's like, well, what do you want to do? And you're like, well, just come over and we'll chill and watch movies. She's going to be like, look at this motherfucker. Thinks he going thinks he gonna to get lucky already. Trying to Netflix and chill. I mean, that whole term just, that whole meaning just flipped, didn't it? Netflix and chill? It should be called Netflix and slap cheeks. Because that's all it really means. But that's what I like, legit like to do. Watch dumb movies, laugh, chill, get some greasy food. No. I would assume there's I would assume that's what they think you're trying to do if you're inviting them over on the first date to watch a movie. They're gonna be like, I don't know, motherfucker, try again. So I don't know, I guess. It would just be going somewhere where you could talk, you know? I mean, I would say a bar for a drink, but some of them bars are so loud. Like you wouldn't even be able to hear. Sometimes the majority of the bars that I've been in, they play the music so damn loud. You're like, what? Huh? She'd be like, what the fuck's wrong with this guy? Can't hear for shit. You got that music bumping in your ear. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you think the best way to have a first date. I'm curious. People are crazy nowadays. I thought I was crazy when I was younger. I mean, I got in some trouble. 
and did some crazy shit. But nowadays, I mean, there's like no, there's just like no fucks given anymore <laughs> with people. I don't know what that, I don't know what that's all about. Let's see, I got a couple more. Oh my god. Do you really like White Claw and drink it? I don't understand what the big deal is with White Claw. You know, you make one meme about something and that's it. The world just destroys it. You know, White Claw has been out for like, I don't even know, probably a couple years. And now it's just getting all this, you know, if you drink it, they just make fun of you. I don't understand. It's just an alcoholic beverage. It's just booze. But it got made fun. It got made fun of at some point, and it, it just catches on. And then people just people just ride with it, right? They just ride with it. I mean, I get it, but like, what the fuck? Like, I mean, you think just because a guy drinks White Claw, he can't start some shit? I tell you what, you see me out drinking White Claw and you want to say something, come on over. Come on over and let me know. This doesn't make any sense. I don't know. It's just a drink. It's got just as much booze as a can of beer. It's just clear. No, I don't know. People are weird. Think they're fucking cool. I'm drinking IPAs all day. It's all the same shit, bro. You're just trying to get drunk. Yes, I like white ball. <laughs> so weird. I never thought that would be like a big deal. Or it would be made fun of so much. I like the mango one. Just so you know, mango one's my favorite. So do something. Mm. Oh my gosh, all the food's almost gone. What supplements do you use? Um, I kind of touched on that in my morning routine video. Um, I, I don't take a lot. I really don't. Um, I take what I think is uh, the essentials. Um, and I use first form products. Um, I, I use a, a few other things from some other places, but the majority of supplements I take is from first form it has been for years um i actually used to be what they call legionnaire where you know um people could buy stuff through my name and they would get like discounts and stuff like that um i don't do that anymore but i still very much use the product um i mean it's a quality product you, you know you pay for what you get um you might pay a little more for certain items but you know the quality of it is there. And, you know, that's one of the main things that, why I even started taking them. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I saw them on Instagram. I don't know if I saw someone just using it and then I, or if I actually saw First Form's page or what it was, but I started following them and um, looking into it more, all the products, and they have a lot of videos that clearly, um, explain um, about each individual product and how they make it and the whole process and why they put whatever things in it. So um, they're very descriptive about it. They don't hide nothing. Um, they It lets you know exactly how much of everything's in it, you know, and that's what you, you got to know. They could just, some supplement uh, brands, they can just tell you that a certain ingredient's in it and it doesn't really have that much in it. It may be to even be effective. So if anything, if you're gonna take a supplement, make sure it says exactly how much of a certain ingredient is in it. Because, you know, well, pay for what you get, right? Or you wanna get what you pay for. So, but I do take 
whey protein, not all the time, like my post-workout shake. I usually take that if I'm in a rush or if I know I'm not going to be able to squeeze in another meal. It's like a meal replacement. So I don't always have a protein shake after I work out. If I have time, I will eat because eating is always going to be the best thing you can take for working out, no matter what your goal is. Food is always going to be number one and supplements is second. And I think a lot of people, you know, seem to forget that, that the supplement is second. It, it aids in your workout and it aids in your diet. It's not the staple of your diet. You know, people will spend, you know, $200 on supplements and $50 on food, real food. And you got it completely, completely ass backwards. You got those numbers backwards, but people do it. And then they bitch. They're like, I'm not getting any gains. Oh, well, shit. What do you think that is, dummy? You think just by taking protein shakes and creatine, you're gonna get huge? Not gonna happen. Food, you gotta eat. You gotta get them calories. Some people don't get it. Some people just don't get it. And that's fine. Whatever. The supplement, most of the, suppl most of the supplement companies, they don't want you to know. They just want you to keep buying it. <laughs> Fuck it. Don't explain it to them. Just sell it. Whatever. Do the research. There's a lot of information out there. Good information on supplements and they're, they argue a lot about what you should and shouldn't take. What's a waste of time. But I do take whey protein. I do take creatine. Um, a multivitamin. A testosterone booster. Um, BCAs. Branch chain amino acids. Which is basically the building blocks of protein. And protein is the building blocks of muscles. So it only seems... That's, you should take that. I mean, in my opinion, any help you can get, take it. So, um, and uh, that's about it. I really don't take a lot. And I take my pre-workout, but I try not to take it every day. Because you will build an immunity to it. A lot of supplement companies out there say they have one that you will not, but you will. Anything you take on a daily basis... Your body will get used to it, and then you'll be taking so much of it, you'll be flying through these cans of pre-workout. And if you take good ones, them bitches is like 45, 50 bucks. Like, I don't think so. Use that money for food. But what the hell do I know? Look at all this shit I just ate. <laughs> I don't eat like this all the time. People are like, how do you work out and eat all that shit all the time? One, I don't eat that shit all the time. Two, it's not shit, it's delicious. <laughs> but I don't eat it all the time. I don't. Believe me, um, when I'm at work and um, any other day than besides like filming or something like that, I, I'm on a pretty boring diet. A protein, veggies, some rice, um, you know, two or, three, two or three of those kind of meals a day. And then, you know, I splurge when I can. But I don't eat like this all the day. <clears throat> all day, every day, I don't. So if you think you can eat like this all the time and work out and get the results you want, you know, I'm probably mistaken. Um, and that was about it. Um, those were the, the main ones that I got. I really thought I was going to get some weird fucking questions, but it's all good. Um, yeah, so, and I'm out of food anyway, so, damn. Oh, got work tonight, so, I would say I would take a nap before I go to work, but that's not gonna happen. I'll just lay there, wall gazing, and then be so tired when it's time to go, but that's what it is. 
So um, thanks to everybody who sent in questions. I appreciate it participating. And I don't know what I'm going to do for my next video. I haven't decided yet. I got a couple ideas, but, you know, if anybody has any um, ideas they want to see me talk about or maybe even eat, um, you know, leave it in the comments below or you can uh, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram and you could always message me there. Um, I'm usually pretty good about getting back to messages. You know, some days for some reason I get way more messages than others and I just, it can, be, it can be exhausting trying to look at, you know, a lot of messages, so. But I do try to answer everybody back. Um, so yeah, just get a hold of me there. Tell me what you guys wanna see and I will try my best to do it. And I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.